All right. So you have set up a BitGet account. You've entered into the Black Box Discord, and you're now ready to set up your bot. It's a three-step process for setting up your uh, Bitcoin trading bot. The first step is to set up a sub-account on the exchange. This is where the bot is going to do its trading. The second thing you need to do is create an API connection between the exchange and our black box dashboard. And then the third thing you need to do is transfer the assets you wish to trade with to the appropriate spots. We're going to go through all three of these in this tutorial video with chapter markers below if you want to skip ahead. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a sub account. We highly recommend that you create a sub account as it isolates the risk to a different part of your trading account. We're gonna start things off on the BitGet main page. If you're not on the main page, just go to the top left-hand corner and click the BitGet symbol. That'll bring you to the main page. On the main page, you're gonna see your little avatar here at the top right. Uh, go ahead, scroll down all the way to subaccounts and click on subaccounts to get yourself to the subaccount page. So now we're going to create a new sub account. Go to the top right where this white button is. If you're on light mode, it might be black and click on the create button. We're going to choose virtual sub account. Our trading bots require a virtual sub account. So do not choose general and do not choose custodial trading. We're going to name this sub account black box. Uh, you can name it anything that's going to help you remember what that sub account is for. You are then going to be prompted to put in your two-factor authentication. It's going to request that it sends you an email and it's going to request that you use your uh, Google validator. Once we've gone through the authentication process, we can see that our new sub account is right here. Okay. So now that the sub account is created, the next thing we need to do is we need to connect our black box dashboard to the BitGet exchange. We're going to do that with an API connection from the sub account dashboard. We can go over to the left-hand toolbar and select API keys. Go ahead and click API keys and we're going to create our first API. Now you will need to change this field right here. Right now it is set to the main account. We're going to click that drop down menu and we're going to set up the sub account that we just created that we named black box. Now we can go over to the right hand side and we can click create API key. We're going to choose a system generated key. We're going to make a note. We're going to call this black box dashboard. But again, you can name it anything that's going to help you remember what it is. And then we're going to create a password for it. I'm going to use the incredibly weak password password. <laughs> you need to come up with something a little bit more secure than that. This is strictly for demonstration purposes. Then we're going to go down to the permissions and we're going to select name and that's going to select all of the permissions. We are again going to be prompted for security verification where we are going to get an email verification code as well as a Google authenticator code. Once we have completed the security verification, we're going to go to this next window here that's going to provide us with our API key as well as our secret key. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my API key. And we're going to head over to blackbox.pro. We're going to sign into our account. Okay. Once we've logged into the dashboard for the first time, you're going to be met with this walkthrough. We're just going to go along here. Uh, we've already signed up with BitGet. Uh, we're going to go hit the create API key. We've already created the API key. We're going to paste the API key into here. We're going to take our secret phrase, choose my own password, go back over to BitGet copy, paste our secret phrase. And then in the bottom, we're going to put in our passphrase. That's the one where we came up with our own password. Uh, I chose the password password, please. You choose something more secure. Then we're going to go down here and click test connection and save. And boom, if it all worked, we should be logged in. We can then go to API connections and just check that. Yes, indeed, we have a connection with BitGet that is currently active. Okay. For the last step, we need to transfer the funds that we intend to trade with into the correct section of the sub account so that our dashboard can pick it up. As you can see right now, the total account balance shows zero. So we're going to uh, transfer the funds into the right part of the account. So we're back over at BitGet. What we're going to do is we're going to click on our little avatar and we're going to go to sub accounts. What I'm going to do 
is I'm going to transfer. I'm going to transfer into my black box sub account. So go over to the right hand side where it says transfer, click on transfer. And we're going to go from the spot account to the sub account, but we're not going to go to the spot sub account. We are going to go to the futures account. Now you have three options when it comes to trading futures. You have USD, uh, USDC margined futures, you have coin margined futures, and you have tether margined futures. If you are wanting to accumulate more tether, you need to put tether into the USDT part of the tether futures. If you are going to be trading with Bitcoin, meaning that you are going to put Bitcoin into the bot, you're going to choose coin margined futures. I am going to be trading with Bitcoin. So I am choosing coin. The coin that I'm going to be trading is Bitcoin and I'm going to be trading with 0.1 Bitcoin. Press confirm and the transfer is complete. Now, for you to get into your uh, sub account so that you can verify that everything looks good, you're gonna go back over to your avatar here and you're gonna click right here where you see this circle button with two arrows. This is the switch account button. I'm gonna click on the switch account button and I'm gonna go down to black box. That's gonna completely change uh, the front end of the website. And then I can go to my wallet and I can see in my wallet overview that I have 0.1 BTC and it's not in my spot wallet. It's not in my margined wallet. It is in my futures wallet. Now, just for troubleshooting sake, let's pretend that we made a mistake. Let's pretend that our funds did make it to the sub account, but they didn't make it into our futures account. If we log back into black box, we can see that our account is still showing zero. So I'm going to go back over and I can see that the 0.1 BTC is in my spot account and I'm going to show you how to transfer it over into your futures account. So go over to spot, then you're going to click on BTC and go to transfer. You're going to hit the drop down menu here where it says USDT dash M and we're going to change that to coin dot, uh, coin dash M. We're going to make sure that the coin that we are trading with is Bitcoin and we are going to transfer the maximum allowed in this, uh, the maximum in this account, which is 0.1 press confirm, go back over to asset overview, and we can see that it is indeed in the futures account, but we are not seeing it on our black box account. So don't panic. At this point, if you're sure the assets are in the correct place, we can go ahead and we can create our bot. So click down here where it says set up your first bot. And this is how you can choose one of the strategies. So right at the top API connection, which API connection are we going to use? I only have one set up. I have the BitGet set up. So I'm going to select BitGet. Which strategy do I want to use? Am I going to use BangBox, which is our 24 hour strategy, or am I going to use BangBox uptrends only? I'm going to choose BangBox 24 seven for the purposes of this video. Um, if you have any questions in, re in regards to the finer details of that strategy, by all means, uh, hit us up in the discord and we can explain the differences between these two, but BangBox is our, our high frequency scalping bot that runs 24 seven. We're then going to select the pair that is Bitcoin. We're going to select the coin again. The margin is Bitcoin. If you are trading with tether, you choose tether. We are trading with Bitcoin, so I'm choosing Bitcoin here. I'll just slide myself over here for just a moment while uh, I explain the slider here. Um, we have slid the slider all the way over to 90%. The reason it's at 90 and not 100 is just to account for uh, order book discrepancies. Uh, we don't want you to have any failed uh, entries. So we leave a little bit of a buffer for fees and discrep price discrepancies and stuff like that during times of volatility. Then we're gonna go ahead and press create bot. Uh, please confirm with the uh, disclaimer here, create bot. 
And now you can see that our balance does show up. We have 0 0.1 BTC in our account waiting to get into the next signal. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any further questions or just are confused as to the process, by all means, hit us up in the Discord. If you would like to do so privately, you can open up a support chat. Uh, we're here to help with anything that you might need. So happy trading. We'll see you in the next video.